Alright, so guys, as you can see, that was a astounding win by MVP with two matches in a row with the best of three. So right now, I'm going to pass the stage to Danny Lee to do the interview. Okay, guys, so I'm here with Heen, captain of MVP Hot 6. How does it feel to take two games off of EP and to move into the grand finals of the MPGL? Um, going into the game, uh, we didn't know what to expect from EP because we don't have many opportunities to play against the Chinese teams. Um, so we looked at their replays and you know tried to come up with strats that might work against them. And um, in the game, I think early game we stumbled a bit in game one, but we pulled through because uh, I don't know. We had uh, faith in our draft, and um, you know we we didn't really think too much about it, and we focused on the game, and I think that's how we ended up winning. So let's talk about the first game. You went for what seemed to be a very early sort kind of draft. We haven't seen a lot of Marana nowadays, and you decided to draft Marana against EP. What was the decision behind drafting Marana? Um, it's my theory that Mirana is pretty good against Wisp uh, because she's mobile and she can kill the Wisp kind of easily. And in the past, uh, when I drafted Mirana against Wisp, we had a pretty high win rate. And Forev is also a pretty aggressive carry, so it fits his playstyle. And I think um, our team plays better when everyone plays something that they enjoy playing. Um, so it's like a fun hero, um, which I also support against Wisp. So. So you also mentioned the Wisp. Were you expecting a tiny pick when you first saw the Wisp pick? Um, yeah, I figured that when they pick the Wisp, they would probably pick the partner for the Wisp, but then they picked Viper, so I was um, pretty surprised. And uh, then I banned out the partners for Wisp because they didn't take it then and there. Yeah, I, I didn't really put much um, thought into banning, you know, Tiny is the most common one, so I just banned it. Yeah. Okay, so for the second game, you played the first game very well. It was almost a dominant game. How did you feel going into that second game? Um, well, the second game, I after we won, um, I was prepared to uh, go against something new. Um, they're surely not going to try something, um, the same thing twice, especially after they lost. So. We were prepared for them to try something new, and you know, surely they pick Phantom Lancer in the really early on. So, uh, I mean, Phantom Lancer is like a pretty popular pick these days. So, you know, we trusted our past experiences and drafted what we believe works well against Phantom Lancer. So, following the Phantom Lancer pick, what do you typically do to control up the Phantom Lancer? Do you focus down on shutting down the PL, or do you just? cripple the entire team so that they just can't come back? Um, well, I think it's a matter of preference. I think uh, sometimes you can shut down the PL, but he's usually pretty elusive. So the other option is uh, making his supports really poor. Um, that way, the Phantom Lancer is a kind of hero that doesn't really uh, pressure opponents. So, um, at least he needs a lot of items. Uh, he's not like um, some of the other more aggressive carries like uh, Slark or Juggernaut that can um, go off the map and uh, make the opponent scared. Nobody is scared of a Phantom Lancer who's not showing on the map. So if you can pressure key, like uh, the supports I think are really important. Um, in our game, Lion and uh, AA played a really big role uh, for them to win the game. So uh, keeping them poor was um, you know, the way we chose to do it in that game. Okay, so final question. You are going into the Grand Finals with a winner's advantage. Do you have anything to say to your fans, people at home that are supporting you, people back in Korea that might be supporting you? Um, this is their first showing um, with this roster at a LAN event. And, you know, I'm, I'm honestly glad and surprised we made it this far uh, without losing. And, you know, we'll, well, we're going to try our best to win it, I guess. And for the supporters, um, I know there are some like uh, people who root for us, um, and I might not know you, but I know you're there. So you know, I'm always uh, very grateful that you're cheering for us. Okay, so thank you for having the interview, and guys, please congratulate MVP, MVP Phoenix, our winners' advantage finalist for the grand finals. So thank you very much, Danny, and as well as congratulations to our friends from MVP Hot Six.